Good afternoon uh, and thanks for coming along. We've had a really good afternoon. We've made good progress on the fire today. Uh, firefighters have been really working hard in some trying conditions up there today. Um, also we've, uh, as I said this morning, we've been working uh, trying to uh, allow limited access to residents, being mindful that we've got the weekend coming up. What we've done is uh, allowed uh, and made arrangements with the Summit Road uh, residents so they're aware of uh, their limitation to access their properties and they're happy with that. Um, the sign of the Kiwi, I've allowed uh, reoccupation of that and moved the uh, uh, roadblock uh, further back. Uh, the residents in Worsley Spur will be allowed access to their properties with identification. It's still an active fire ground, uh, so I I'm really uh, ask everyone to be mindful and all of those residents that we've allowed back into their properties uh, I, I ask them to make sure they've got a grab bag and be prepared for evacuation if things change. At the moment we've got a really good window for firefighting through to Sunday um, and after Sunday we expect some high winds so that window has allowed us to really put a lot of firefighting effort into the next two days. So to facilitate that I ask the general public to stay away and uh, don't use recreational um, a access to the area. Go go somewhere else which is uh, better to uh, do their activities and allow us to do our job and that will be really helpful. Thank you. So um, at, at this stage uh, we, there are no properties other than the ones that are in the black zone. I think that's about three. Uh, we had a list of about 33 homes, particularly around Worsley Spur, uh, and as I said, they've been all allowed access over the weekend, but they would need their identification to get through the blocks. Do you know how many people have come through Some of the residents have been coming through since 3 o'clock, and some uh, we had escorted in earlier for various uh, emergency reasons. Yeah, um, there's, there's only a few homes up there, so we were able to approach those homeowners directly and work through a plan that suits us and suits them. Sure, yeah. Um, as I said, we've got a really good firefighting window uh, to really knock this fire um, through to Sunday, and at that stage, uh, looking at the weather forecast, there's a change to strong northwest winds. Uh, obviously that, uh, depending on how strong that wind is and how accurate the weather forecast is, will determine our ability to use aerial response and, uh, and ignite hot spots and, and such around the containment lines. Do you have more information on the Yeah, I've been working with the Adventure Park team this morning. Uh, I've allowed um, that team to go in the, uh, under escort. They've taken engineering staff in and uh, are doing a site inspection of the lines and uh, their building facilities. I understand that they're reasonably happy, but obviously that will take some time to do that uh, work to ensure they've got uh, what their recovery plan looks like. What are the latest figures on how much has been contained? So uh, from this morning, as I said, there's 650 hectares. Uh, around 14 kilometre perimeter and the fire has not ex uh, come out of that perimeter while we've been actively working today. So, so yeah, that's the, at the 14 kilometre perimeter, so that's where we're really working hard on the fire line and our fire breaks. Just uh, push that black zone back is what we call, just to make a black dead zone basically, so there's no chance of fire ignition there. So we've been working hard on that. So with, I mean obviously uh, we've improved on our 70%, but I, I'm not at 100 yet. So. Sure, yeah, I'm not aware of that. The uh, fire investigation team in the New Zealand Police are dealing with that. So if anyone out there has further photographs, if they could forward them to the New Zealand Police, and I'm sure they'll pass them on to the appropriate uh, team that are working. No, the fire, as I said, the fire is still under investigation, and I don't want to uh, uh, preempt any any cause. 
No, the fire's not contained. Um, that will uh, we'll have more indication on that uh, prior to the Norwest change. What we're doing though is taking advantage of this window of opportunity we've got before that Norwest comes back, and I'm really putting more horsepower into it uh, up to that Sunday night. I'm managing the risk because uh, I'm aware of the public's uh, expectations and needs to get back, uh, but I'm comfortable with that risk. Thank you. Thank you, guys.